Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Engineering and Stuff. And in today's video lecture, we are going to discuss about the important fundamental parameter of traffic engineering, and that is traffic density. So, uh, if you are following the previous lectures, if you have gone through the previous lectures, we have discussed about uh, the fundamental parameters of traffic engineering in mac in macroscopic category. And there we have discussed uh, about the traffic volume. We have discussed about uh, traffic capacity, and we have also uh, discussed about the variety of speed or the variety of speed study that are conducted in traffic engineering. These are the fundamental parameters of uh, traffic engineering in terms of macroscopic characteristics. In the same uh, same category that is the fundamental parameters we have another important uh, parameter called as the traffic density we have traffic density which is another important fundamental parameter so in this lecture we are going to discuss about what is traffic density and how it is related to traffic uh, volume and traffic speed right so let us first of all go through the definition so your traffic density is defined as the number of vehicles found at a particular instant on road in one kilometer length, right? Which is called as the traffic density. So traffic density is the number of vehicles found at a particular instant on the road in one kilometer length. What does this mean? This means that in a study stretch of one kilometer, in a study stretch of one kilometer, in a study stretch of one kilometer, how many vehicles are occupying this section of the road? So, how many vehicles? How many vehicles are occupying this one kilometer section of the road? Is what we call as the traffic density this is what we call as the traffic density so this means the unit of traffic density will be vehicles per kilometer vehicles in pcu right so how many vehicles are occupying one kilometer length of the road is called as the traffic density so one thing uh, that you should notice or compare between the traffic volume, traffic capacity, and this traffic density is that in traffic density, in traffic density, the vehicles are stationary. Right? The vehicles are stationary. If you look into the definition again, the vehicles are occupying one or one kilometer section of the road. Right, the vehicles are found at a particular instant. So we are looking at the stationary occupancy. We are not looking at the at the number of vehicles that are passing the one kilometer section of the road. I'll just write it down. It's a very important and a very confusing thing that in traffic density we are not looking into the vehicles that are passing the one kilometer section of the road. This is not the case. We are looking at the vehicles that are occupying this one kilometer section of the road at any particular instant of the time it can be the peak hours it can be the uh, mid peak hours or it can be the uh, low traffic volume time like 2 am 3 am in the morning okay so the traffic density is the number of vehicles occupying a section of the road one kilometer section of the road at any point of time so the unit of Traffic density is vehicle per kilometer. Okay, so unit is vehicles per kilometer. So what is the what is the relationship? What is the relationship between what is the relationship between traffic volume, traffic speed, and traffic density? Now you see we are talking about the traffic as a whole. So this is a macroscopic. This is a macroscopic parameter. When we we have already discussed in the video what is macroscopic and microscopic parameters. 
So when we are looking at the traffic as a whole, it is called as the macroscopic parameter, right? So the relationship between traffic volume, traffic speed, and traffic density is that your traffic volume, your traffic volume is equal to traffic speed multiplied by traffic density. Traffic volume is equal to traffic speed multiplied by traffic density. So we know the unit of traffic volume is vehicle per unit time. Time can be hours. Speed is distance. It can be in kilometer or meter distance per unit time. Density we have discussed is vehicle. Per kilometer, that is the distance, right? A section of the road, the distance. So we can see we, this is being cancelled. So vehicle per unit time, vehicle per unit time, right? The units are matching. So the relationship between uh, the fundamental parameters, traffic volume, traffic speed, traffic density is traffic volume is equal to traffic speed into traffic density. Okay. So what is the purpose of 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 like studying the traffic density. What is the purpose of of studying the traffic density? So by studying by studying the traffic density by studying the traffic density, it gives us the uh, overall flow rate of the road. It helps to find out or through the uh, traffic density, we get to know what are the what is the jam condition scenario. What is the jam condition scenario? What is the we try to formulate the correlation between the fundamental parameters like traffic speed, traffic capacity, traffic density, and likewise. Right? It helps to understand uh, in detail about the movement of the traffic in a particular instant of time. Okay, so this is why we go for traffic density. All right. So this is uh, like a small lecture, uh, lecture video lecture about the traffic density. I hope uh, with this uh, video lecture, uh, this concept is clear to you and. Uh, you have uh, I I am assuming that you have gone through the previous videos related to the fundamental parameters uh, because in the upcoming videos we are going to discuss about the relationship between these fundamental parameters. So it should be clear what these uh, these standard terms mean. Okay, so that's it for this uh, video. Uh, I hope the lecture was crisp and concise and up to your expectations and serve the purpose. If so, like the video, uh, post your views in the comment section and uh, subscribe to the video for more lecture like this thank you for watching have a nice day